Good morning, everyone. It's Lonnie. Welcome back to the shed. Uh, another busy day. I actually had a really good sales day yesterday. Uh, today, I'm not shipping. Today is Tuesday. I'm going to ship tomorrow. Uh, I had the disc going out to my friend that I cleaned. Those are there. Um, I have 18 orders to pull. A lot of them are makeup. A lot of them are not, though. So I'm going to get the makeup pulled now. And I'll probably pack box resizers and I'll come back and show y'all um, the other stuff that is going out too. My other goal for today is I don't have and I don't have a lot of goals for today. I want to get the Atari stuff all tested and listed. I want to get this Wii listed. Uh, I might have to clean a few of the games that I'm going to include with it. There's some games in here. They're going to get it go with that Wii. Uh, and then the only other thing I want to do, or the only other goal I have, is to get all of the Converse in here listed. So those three things and get all the orders that I currently have right now packed. That's my only goal for today. I'm keeping it easy, keeping it light. Okay, got uh, all my makeup orders packed. And that was just from yesterday. What's that, five... 11 that's what i want to do every day to get this stuff moved um so yeah yesterday was really good i think i'm at like 13 percent sale on that stuff now uh next up is an order for emily and actually she ordered three different things and this is all for her husband chance who is celebrating his 26th birthday so happy birthday chance and thank you emily for the business. Okay, first of all is a Nintendo Wii console from mid A shelf right here. I think I've got it buried. Let's be back here. I'm gonna have to unbury it carefully. It's actually been back here for a while. It, I priced it when the Wii stuff was like really high and then the Wii stuff kind of cooled off some I didn't change the price but then recently I'm running like a 22% off sale that made it probably more in line with what it should be so this Wii console which is in here I'm going to open it up and because I'm going to repack she did order a couple of games too so i'm going to open it up repack and then of course i'll refund any excess shipping there might be but yeah this is a wii console and then nunchuck controller it's got everything it's got all the all the basic stuff for the wii and then she also bought okay this is good uh, I'm glad a viewer bought this. She also bought Mario Kart Wii. Right here. And I advertised it not having the manual. However, I do have a manual. Um, because it was right here. And I never changed the listing. So the manual is going to go in there too. So that is complete. And then she also bought kind of rambling here huh bought one more thing she bought uh wii sports which is a must-have i like, honestly i think the wii with wii sports is all you really need because wii sports is definitely i think the best game i love tennis on wii <laughs> so yeah this stuff right here thanks a bunch emily and again happy birthday chance sold another Wii Sports. I listed, I think, two, two Wii Sports yesterday. Or maybe more. No, two Wii Sports. Wii Sports Resort. Super Mario Bros. Wii. I think that might have sold two. I think that's coming up. But anyway, yeah, I sold this uh, Wii Sports. These are still solid little sellers. $18.99 plus shipping on top for that. Jason bought a few things from me. He's bought a bunch in the past, too. Uh, especially when I was selling the Funko Pops. But Jason bought, and he's bought some Hot Wheels too. Uh, he bought a classic Nomad 3377. 
I've just got this one box left here of cars that are on card. Classic Nomad. Must be this one. Here it is. 3377. 20 20 something. What is it? 2299 for that. And then he also bought the Game Boy Advance SP AGS 101 that I showed y'all yesterday. Put it right here. It's already boxed up and ready to go. Got it all bubble wrapped and everything. I figured it would sell pretty quickly. Um, sold that for $99.99 plus shipping and it does come with the six games. So thanks a bunch, Jason. Hope you like the stuff here. Okay, next up is a little radio I just listed yesterday. It is the smallest and lightest one right here. This Deluxe Juliet radio. Somebody bought it pretty quickly, which I'm not too surprised because it has a great look to it. So, uh, yeah, I got $59.99 plus shipping on top for that. I paid $20 for this one. Okay, sold new Super Mario Bros. Wii, the one I just showed y'all. Sold this for somewhere around 20 bucks. Need to make sure that's the game and not the strategy guide. Because they look very similar. Yeah, it's the game itself. 20 bucks plus shipping on top. All right, last thing from the main store. I'm going to pull a makeup item because it's a viewer sale. Uh, MU20. Where is that at? Is it over here? Here we go. This is it. Uh, quick liner for eyes. 06 Violet. Uh, sold for some amount of money. You see on the screen there. Thank you very much to Lisa for buying that. I do appreciate it. Okay, just changed my mind. Um, I am going to go ahead and bring everything today. Two reasons. Number one, yesterday was a pretty extraordinary selling day. That's one day of sales, which is really good for me. Uh, the other reason is the post office is closed tomorrow, uh, which is the best reason to go. Because if I wait till, if I don't go till Friday, then I probably have 40 something packages. I'd rather just go, uh, I'll go today and then i guess i'll probably go thursday and friday these hol these weeks where they have there's holidays it makes it hard to stick to this three-day thing and yes i had the atari back out for one last time i cleaned it up a little bit i actually opened it up i put some deoxit in the switches all those switches there cleaned the board off a little bit closed her back up and now i'm going to test each and every game in here so I can say they're all tested. I might not play them all much at all, but I'll at least make sure they start up. And uh, yeah, I can say everything's tested. And then I'll probably, for better or worse, for better or worse, I'll probably just run an auction. Um, what is this? Oh, maze. And also, it's actually looking better now since I cleaned it up a little bit. Football. Yeah, that looks like come a long way uh, from here to Madden, huh? <laughs> but yeah, anyway, let me uh, let me finish this up. Target fun. Well, I've been playing this game. I might get killed here because I'm making a video. I've been playing this game for... It's okay. I've been playing this for like 30 minutes now. And the only reason I'm still playing, I want to see what happens if I get to 99,999. Will it roll over or will it go past 100,000? That's the only reason I'm playing. I can get free lives. I had them maxed out. I got to start playing now though. Okay, we're getting close now. Let's see. I think I might be setting a world record here. So I want y'all to witness this. It's so easy though. It's, it's probably the skill level I'm on. It's not as easy when I'm doing the... Look, it rolls over. It rolls over. So y'all witness me tie the world record for asteroids. It's interesting. Uh, Donkey Kong, that was like... 
that was Nintendo's big hit. Uh, of course, this was made by the Connecticut Leather Company, <laughs> uh, also known as Coleco. But uh, yeah, that's that's some old school stuff there. That was the big game. One of the that was one of the biggest hits back in the day. This is fun. I'm not making very good time here though, so I need to hurry up. This is the only one that doesn't work so far. Is this uh, demon attack? And I actually have another one, and that's probably why I have another one. They must have broke this one. Although they look different. This one says for use with Atari and Sears, and this one just says for use with Atari. So mine's mine's actually an Atari. I mean, uh, mine's actually a Sears Sears model. So no, it's not the heavy sixer. Oh, I have two Riddle of the Sphinx for some reason. I don't know why. Hmm. Anyway, let me finish this up. Okay, I got everything tested, photoed, weighed. Got everything uploaded here. And got a picture of it functioning like that. And I figured out I have 25 of the... Tw I have 29 games and 25 manuals, which is... That's actually pretty nice. A uh, little extra I have with this lot. So I am going to auction it now. Wait, why is it charging me 15 cents? Make sure I don't have anything. I don't have it. Oh well, I don't know. I don't know why it's charging me 15 cents. Let's see what? Insertion fee, 15 cents. Hmm. Okay. Guess I don't get a free insertion fee for the auction. That doesn't seem right. Whatever. All right, I listed it. Wish me luck. <laughs> uh, it's probably not going to go down. It's one of my better buys. Um, I spent a hundred bucks on everything. I did sell one of the games for a hundred dollars. No, one of the games for sixty dollars already. So that d helps with a lot of it. Um, and then I'm also going to sell these two games. I'll probably get another about $25 or so. Um, so I'll be most of the way to being in the profit. But for the amount of work, for the amount of time, especially if you consider that I played Asteroids for like 45 minutes, um, I could probably find a better use of my time than to get involved with this. But it was fun. A little, little bit of retro time for me. And uh, hopefully whoever it goes to will enjoy it too. But anyways, thanks again for watching everyone. I'll see y'all again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.